morning students how are you all i hope you all are fine and children as we know that chapter 7 mineral and energy resources is going on and in this chapter we have already discussed about the types of minerals and the distribution of minerals in the india clear and today we will uh, discuss about the uh, metallic minerals and in this uh, we will learn about the uh, ferrous minerals and non ferrous mineral clear so let's come to the metallic minerals in this yes come to the ferrous first so my question is what do you mean by the ferrous mineral which i already uh, taught about it okay so the ferrous minerals are those minerals which have iron content and the non ferrous minerals are those minerals which don't have iron content clear it is very simple that's good now come to the ferrous minerals so ferrous minerals jo ki iron content hota hai so ferrous uh, minerals such as iron ore manganese chromite etc so provide a strong base for the development of metallurgical industries so now what do you mean what do you mean by the metallurgical industries metallurgical industries kya hoti hain so the metallurgical industries are those industries which use metals for making new products clear yeah? um, like uh, big machines and uh, some um, important uh, tools by iron ore clear yeah? that's good and our country is well placed in respect of ferrous minerals both in reserves and production india mein bahut sara uh, ferrous mineral paya jata hai in reserves mein aur production bhi kafi hota hai so let's come to the first mineral uh, it is a first uh, ferrous mineral iron ore so india is endowed with fairly abundant resources of iron ore and it has the largest reserve of iron ore in asia The two main types of ore found in our country are hematite and magnetite. So it is ha- it has great demand in international market uh, due to its superior quality because these two are a uh, very good quality of minerals or iron ore sorry. Clear? The iron ore mines occur in close proximity to the coal fields in the northern eastern plateau region of the country which adds to their advantage. so northern eastern uh, plateau region means uh, states like chatisgarh jharkhand odisha and all that okay if we talk about the um, total reserve of uh, iron ore india so the total reserve of iron ore in the country were about 20 billion tons in the year 2004 and 2005 and about 95% of total reserves of iron ore is located in the states of odisha jharkhand chatisgarh karnataka goa uh, telangana andhra pradesh and tamil nadu if we talk about uh, the odisha only so in odisha iron ore occurs in a series of hill ranges in sundargarh mayurbhanj and jhar and some important mines are guru mahaisini sulepet badam peher it is it is also in mayurbhanj uh, kiraburu it is in uh, kendujahar and bonai it is in sundargarh and similar hill ranges in uh, jharkhand has some of the oldest iron uh, iron ore mines in most of the iron and steel plants are located around them and most of the important mines such as noa mundi and goa are located in purbi and pashmi singhum districts clear and yes what about the chatisgarh so in chatisgarh uh, this belt further extends to durg uh, dantewada and beladila dalli and rajhara in durg so these are some important mines of iron ore in the country now come to the karnataka in karnataka iron ore deposits occur in sandur hospet area of balari district baba budan hills and kundremukh in chikmangaluru district and parts of uh shiv magoga chitradurg and uh tumakuru districts and uh, apart from this the district of chandrapur bhandara and ratnagiri in maharashtra uh, karimnagar and uh, varangal district of telangana kurnool kudapa and anantpura districts of andhra pradesh 
Salem and Nilgiri districts of Tamil Nadu are other iron mining uh, regions. And Goa has also emerged as an important producer of iron ore. Clear? So here we have to talk about the ferrous minerals. Uh, which ferrous mineral? Iron ore. Clear? Next is manganese. Yes, we will see the map also. But after uh, discussing the manganese part. So, manganese is an important raw material for smelting of iron ore and also used for uh, manufacturing ferro alloys. Manganese deposits are found in almost all geological formations. However, it is mainly associated with Dharwad system. Clear? And again, Odisha. Odisha is the leading producer of manganese and major mines in Odisha are located in the central part of the iron belt of India. Clear? And particularly in Bonai, Kendujar, Sundargarh, uh, Gangpur, Koraput, Kalahandi and Bolangir. In Karnataka, Karnataka is another major producer and here the mines are located in Dharwad, Balari, uh, Belagavi, North Kanara, Chikmangluru, Shiva Moga, Chitradurg and Tuma Kuru. In Maharashtra, uh, Maharashtra is also important producer of manganese, so which is mined in Nagpur, Bhandara and Ratnagiri districts. And the disadvantages of these mines is that they are located far from steel plants. Agar jitna zyada, uh, jo hai mines dur steel plants, se, transportation bahut zyada ho jata hai. transportation aur kyunki ye products jo hai bulk mein jaate hain, unko transport karna thoda sa difficult hota hai. That's why this is a disadvantage of this mine. Clear? The manganese belt of Madhya Pradesh extends in a belt in Balaghat, Shindhara, Nimar, Mandla and uh, Jhabua district. And uh, Telangana, Goa and Jharkhand are other minor producers of manganese. Clear? So here we have talked about the some major uh, states, uh, major producer or the major states of manganese and iron ore. Yes, again come to the map. Yes, we will see the map here. In map you can see uh, iron ore fields and manganese. Uh, now we have using uh, some uh, symbols for that. Uh, one is triangle for iron ore fields and another star is for manganese. Now you can see in the map uh, the iron ore fields like uh, Durga, Baladila and uh, Kendujar and Bellari, Ratnagiri and these are the major places or the major regions for producing iron ore. And for manganese we can see the Balaghat, the Sundargarh and, uh, and in Shimoga and uh, yes, so these are the major places you can see in the map. A map is very uh, important for you because uh, the questions jo hai wo Aate hai map ke liye. So please learn the map or the places uh, of uh, ferrous minerals and non-ferrous minerals. Clear? Now come to the next which is non-ferrous minerals. Clear? So India is poorly endowed with non-ferrous metallic minerals except bauxite. Okay, thik hai? So India ke paas jo hai bauxite hai aur uske lawa zyada ferrous yeah, sorry non-ferrous minerals nahi hai. So here we will talk about the bauxite because bauxite is the ore which is used in manufacturing of aluminium and it is a raw material for making aluminium clear. So bauxite is found mainly in tertiary deposits and it is associated with laterite rocks occurring extensively either on the plateau or hill ranges of peninsular India and also in the uh, coastal tracts of the country. Okay, and again come to the Odisha. So Odisha happens to be the largest producer of bauxite. Kalahandi and Sambalpur are the leading producers. The other uh, two areas which have been increasing their production are Bolangir and Koraput. The patlands of Jharkhand in Lohar Daga uh, have rich deposits here. Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra are other major producers. Bhavnagar, Jamnagar in Gujarat have the major deposits. Then uh, Chhattisgarh has bauxite deposits in Amarkantak Plateau. 
while Katni, Jabalpur area and Balaghat in MP or we can say Madhya Pradesh have important deposits of bauxite. Kolaba, Thane, uh, Ratnagiri, Satara, Pune are, and uh, Kolapur in Maharashtra are important producers. In Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Goa are minor producers of bauxite. Clear? Okay. Now come to the next which is copper. Copper is also a non-ferrous mineral. So copper is an indispensable uh, matter in the electrical industry for making wires, electric motors, transformers and generators. And it is alloyable, malleable and ductile. And these uh, properties hai? we already discussed in our junior classes. So it is also mixed with gold to provide strength to jewelry. Jewelry may be used kiya jata hai. So the copper deposits mainly occur in Singhbhum district in Jharkhand, Balaghat district in Madhya Pradesh and Jhunjhunu and Alwar districts in Rajasthan. Some minor producers of copper are uh, Agni Gundala in Guntur district, it is in Andhra Pradesh, Chitradurg and Hassan district in Karnataka and South uh, uh, Arko district, it is in Tamil Nadu. Clear? Okay. Now you can see this in the map also. Uh, this is a map of non-ferrous minerals like copper and bauxite. Again, we are using two type of symbol, one for copper and one for bauxite. We are using a star for copper and another box is for bauxite. Now you can see here, uh, this is, these are some places of copper. In Rajasthan, you can see uh, Khetridi, Alwar, Bilwada, Udaipur. These are the copper producing uh, places and now uh, the Balaghat also and uh, next is uh, Singhbhum and Nazira, Nazari Bagh. So these are the places where uh, jo copper hai, wo found hota hai, ya, wo uski jo mine, usko mine kiya jata hai. If we talk about the bauxite, for bauxite Katni, Amarkantak, Bilaspur and uh, Koraput and then Malki, Malkala Hills. These are the places where bauxite ko nikala jata hai. So, isko bhi aapko learn karna hai. This is also very important for your map work. Clear? So, here we have discussed about the ferrous and non-ferrous uh, metallic minerals. Clear? In uh, the next video, we will talk about the non-metallic minerals. In non-metallic minerals, uh, we can divide it into two parts. One is... Uh, energy resources or the fuel resources and the other is other non-metallic minerals like mica. Clear? So, uh, milte hain fir next video mein. Till then, take care and bye.